that honorable indulgist Etienne masterminded the hijacking of the ball boxes. Also, we had an interaction with Honorable, asking him about the ballot box snatching when he told our observer to give him two hours to meet our team and he never showed up. Furthermore, after a tip from the chief in the community that there was stamp printing going on at APC office, we traced Honorable Indojist Ituen to the APC office alab along Kalaba Itu Road. On reaching the APC office along Karaba Itu Road, we found men of Nigerian police force heavily armed at the entrance, which made it difficult for us to have access. Unit 12 War 2 in Ibiono Ibom local government, the polling unit of Senator Ita Inang. Our observer reports ballot box being snatched and cutted away by hoodlops after interaction with various party agents at the unit. We gathered that the said senator was instrumental to the ballot box snatching. Goswil Akpabio and his gang of thugs on Sunday took their bestiality to another level when they ambushed and attacked foreign observers who visited the local government, Isien Udom, local government. An exclusive video footing from the venue of the coalition in Isien Udom showed the accredited observers stopped by the thugs and violently barred from accessing the coalition venue where Akpabio held the INEC officials hostage for more than five hours. Having chased away the observers and journalists, Akpabio had a field day doctoring the ballot papers and inflating the results to his favor. Even though the number of accredited voters in the area was not up to 20,000, Akpabio dubiously allocated 60,000 votes to himself and allowed only 3,000 to go in favor of his rival, Chris Ekpeo. In the full glare of the military and the IGP squad of the Nigerian police, hoodlums loyal to Senator Godswill Abadio assaulted foreign and domestic observers in Ukana, SN Udium, local government area of Akwaibom State, seizing and destroying the table, their phones, and other personal effects. Some of the victims are still in the hospital receiving treatments, urgent medical attentions, as at the time of this press briefing. The in collaboration with the helicopters, I met the front officer from a Senate group government area on Sunday, of February 2019, a day after the election. While we were on a routine uh, observation of the collision centers, that's a day after the election, thugs, loyalists, and the local people, in the presence of military and police officers, took over the local government collision center, preventing other political opponents and their party leaders from having access. All this was done in terms of military security and security personnel. When our team observed the request to have access to the uh, pollution center to observe the proceedings of the, uh, according to the INEC guidelines and the mandate of foreign democratic observer in line with globally acceptable best practices, the talks on instruction of their principle descended on us, the team of local and foreign observers, causing us and inflicting on us bodily injuries. Stashing our phones, iPads, and all observation equipment that we have possession. In the open play of all the police and military personal presence, we as a suicide organization, we totally condemn the attack on observers, we condemn the taking over of an election production center by an individual and a stop, we condemn the lack of response from the security personnel, thereby risking the life of observers, we condemn the prevention of other political opponents and their agents from accessing the production center. Nearby call on INEC, my own government of people, the international community to look into the situation and assert and deal proper sanctions and punishment of such 